Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This seems to be the night for prayer. Um, sorry, I wasn't quite ready <laughs> when I hit go. <laughs> okay, um, I got more prayer requests to put across to you. I need all my prayer warriors. <laughs> this is like, what, six, seven, and eight, or uh, five, six, and seven, whatever. Uh, okay, so let me just read them from the comments, okay? And one is from a video, okay? All right, now, um, our sister Jean, uh, who lives in Upper Michigan, has given a report about Pastor Dave that I had requested prayer for a while back, and he had said, uh, pray for me, he was going to have the colonoscopy okay they found out he had a, a tumor that was cancerous and so he has had his surgery to remove that but it must have been extensive because here's the re here's the report also prayer for pastor Dave from Michigan he had his surgery cancer tumor is removed but he is on a ventilator and he's septic okay um, he is septic which means he has sepsis I believe I've got that right uh, at any rate uh, sepsis is very serious um, especially when you end up on a ventilator because of it, it means your whole body is uh, pretty much infected. So, you see, when you're dealing with the colon, no matter how well they clean you, there can still be bacteria. It's normal to help break down your food, but you don't want it in your abdominal cavity, which is where it goes. If the cancer had caused the, the tumor, the cancerous tumor had eaten through the wall, um, and so they went to remove it, and it, it allowed some bacteria to get into his abdominal cavity. I imagine they scrambled to get all that out. I mean, like I say, they clean you out as well as they can, that's the only way I can think of with bowel surgery that's one thing you risk don't know what kind of procedure they had in mind I know different things they can do for that it depends on where it was so anyway she's asking that we pray for his family now I would hope that they would know that Pastor Dave, being the godly man he is, surely said his prayers before he went under, so to speak, and will go straight to heaven. Um, I pray he will, and if he's the one saved, always saved tr preacher, I don't know. Um, perhaps... Gene, you know, I don't know. If so, we need to pray he doesn't die till he can repent. I tell you what, that being on being on your possible deathbed could cause you to stop believing in that. Don't you think so? But anyway, if his family's all, you know, upset, they don't want to lose him, you know how it is. You know somebody or your pet is going to heaven and I hate to compare my dog to Pastor Dave but when you love someone or in the case of an animal it's a pet and you're losing them and they're you know they're going to heaven but you still miss them terribly you and you know they're out there with Jesus and you know they're healthy and young and, and no pain and all this and that no worries no more freezing cold winters to try to you know 
You know what I'm saying? We know that. Logically, we know that. But our heart still has love for that person. So, yes, we, we do need to pray for him and for his family because they will miss him. And we, I ask, Lord, that you would send comforting angels to surround them all and to just remind them to whisper in their ears and let the Holy Spirit whisper from within you know, I've got this, I've got this, and I've got you, I've got you. Wow, death is sad for us, those left behind, and we do need each other's prayers when things like this happen. Okay, that's one. Another prayer request is by Tessa. Uh, she goes by C.G. Gray Gray. Now let me find it. All right, here it is, two hours ago. Will you, Miss Jeannie, and all prayer warriors pray for healing for my aunt's eyes also? She said they're getting worse and she's in a different state than we are. So I'm not close enough to help her except over the phone. And with COVID-19 going on, she's in her early 60s. And before COVID-19, I was trying to get her to move here, but it hasn't worked out yet. Okay, so I don't know what's wrong with her eyes. If it's something like cataracts, she just needs to have them removed. If it's something like the optic nerve or the retina is detaching, I don't think you can fix that. There are some things you can fix. There are some things you cannot fix. And it depends on her insurance. And what they'll pay or what they'll cover and so let's pray first of all we pray that father's will be done you didn't mention if she was a believer does she believe prayers can heal we want to pray first of all that she is right with the lord or gets right with the lord okay because of the time we're in. Um, early 60s, she's younger than I am. Um, Father, you know what's wrong with her eyes. You know if it's repairable or not. Whether, you know, whether she can have a surgery to fix it or not we know that you can just touch her with all of us praying together and you just touch her because we know that what is it you say one can put a hundred to flight but ten can put thousands to flight well Ten prayer warriors can put thousands of blessings upon her. One person praying is good. Two is better. Ten is even better. So imagine if everybody who saw this did. Lord, we pray that you would touch her eyes and heal her miraculously so she could be a witness to all her neighbors and friends how wonderful would that be in the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth I pray for that amen and amen now this one 
was a, a link in a comment that said, watch it to consider for prayer. All right, it's a one minute, 32 second video by a man named Humble Seeker. Now, this is dated July the 1st, but still, there's a couple days left. He is asking everyone to pray. He's going live at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. So that would be 3 o'clock Eastern Time. This is for the United States. Now, if you're not in the United States, he says it's 7 o'clock p.m. UTC. So if you're out of the country, you just go online and find out what time it would be in your part of the world that would equal to 7 p.m. UTC. He did give us 2 p.m. Central Standard Time to go on. He'll have a little something to share and then at 2 o'clock exactly Central Time we're to pray the Lord's Prayer in one accord. Now he says, I'll link the video, it's a humble seeker, two words, calling all watchmen, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and those watching for the Lord. <clears throat> okay, calling all watchmen and those watching for the Lord. And he's doing this through July 7th. I don't know why only till then. But he's apparently made this on the 1st. So perhaps he started it on the 1st and is going through the 7th. So it'll be live if you wish to join this man. Okay. Lord, please don't let me forget to attach this to the video. With that, I say I plead the blood of Jesus over these prayer requests, over this video, over myself and my computer and my internet connection. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.